what is going on traders and welcome back to the channel if this is your first time here welcome i'm glad to have you now in this video i'm going to be going over my watch list for the trading week of july 25th 2022 let's get to it all right so the catalyst for this week we have more big tech earnings we have the new home sales numbers coming out on tuesday and what everybody's waiting on is the fomc minutes that'll be on wednesday at 2 p.m Let's go ahead and take a look at this week's earnings calendar. All right, so here's this week's earnings calendar. Once again, the focus is gonna be on big tech, companies like Google, Microsoft, Meta, Apple, and Amazon. I also like UPS, Enphase, and Boeing. The levels that I'm gonna be talking about today are gonna to be focused primarily on what happens prior to the meeting announcement notes from the Fed on Wednesday, because anything that happens after that is pretty much a toss up at this point. So make sure you follow me on Twitter for any updated levels that I post. All right, let's go ahead and get started with this week's watch list. All right, so let's start off with the tech ETF, the QQQ. Now here I have it pulled up on the four hour chart here. Now, first off the bullish scenario, if right now the QQQ is sitting around $302. Now, if it can stay above $301 at open, I'm looking for it to run all the way up to around $307. You can see it's a lot of price action going on right here. So it's a lot of resistance right in this area. So if it can get above $307 and get in this zone, the highest that I see it going is around $312 to the upside. Now the bear scenario, if the QQQ cannot stay above $301, the first level that I'm looking for to test is around $297.50. If it can't hold that, the next level's around 294.50. If it can't hold that, then I'm looking for it to come test this trend line. Right now, that's close to around $285, okay? So keep these levels on your watch list and let's see what happens. All right, up next is Microsoft, ticker symbol MSFT. Now here I have it pulled up on the four hour chart. And yeah, I got a quite a few things marked off on this one, but I'll try to explain it. First off, the bullish scenario. Now right now, Microsoft is sitting around $260. And if it could stay above that, the first level that I'm looking for at the test is around $267. If it can get through that, the next level is around $271. Now you can see in the past, it's tested this level quite a few times and the last two times it has not been able to break above $271. But if it does, the next level that I'm looking for to test is around $280. And if it can get in this imbalance candle area right here, the highest that I see it going is around $287. Okay, now that's the bullish scenario. Now, if Microsoft has bad guidance or bad numbers or if the market in general wants to sell off, the first level that I'm looking for at the test is around $260. If it cannot get above $260, I'm looking for it to test around $253. And if it can't hold that, the lowest I see it going is around $241, okay? So keep these levels on your watch list and let's see what happens. All right, up next is gonna be Meta Platforms, ticker symbol M-E-T-A. Now here I have it pulled up on the four hour chart here. Now remember that Meta does not report earnings until after the market closes on Wednesday. So it's possible that whatever the results of the Fed meeting are, it could affect how this ticker plays out afterwards and into Thursday. So what we're gonna talk about, are these levels are gonna be just between Monday and Wednesday afternoon, okay? So first off, the bullish scenario. Now right now, Meta is sitting around $169.25. The first level that it has to get above is around $169.50. If it can get through this level, the next level that I'm looking for at the test is around $173.25. If it can get through that, another hard resistance I see right here is around $175. If it can break through that, the next level is around $179. If it can get through that, the next level is around $182.50, and the level above that is $191.50. It'll be crazy if it ran this far prior to their earnings which will be fantastic. Now, next up, the bear scenario. Now, if the market opens and Meta cannot get above $169.50, the first level that I'm looking for at the test is around $163.50, okay? And if it can't hold this one, the next level down is around $159.50. 
And if it can't hold that, the last level that I marked off here is around $158.50, okay? Now stay tuned to my Twitter feed, like I said before, because I probably will be posting up new levels after what the Fed announces on Wednesday, okay? So keep these levels on your watch list and let's see what happens. All right, up next is N Phase Energy, ticker symbol ENPH. Now here I have it pulled up on the four hour chart here and they report earnings after the market closes on Tuesday. And I should mention in their last three earnings, they have gapped up around 40, 40 and 25. So they have been beating on earnings and it has been running up afterwards, okay? So first off, let's look at the bullish scenario. Right now it's sitting around $211.50. The first level that I needed to break through is around $212.50. If it can get above that, the next level is around $220. If it can get above that, the next level is around $230. And if it can get in this gap right here, the next level is around $243. And if it can get above that, the next level is around $269, okay? Now this is not impossible if this ticker gets all the way up to around $220 by the close of business on Tuesday and then it gaps up 40 bucks. That would be fantastic for whoever's playing this one. All right, next up, the bear scenario. If they report bad earnings and they cannot stay above or get above this $212.50 level, I'm looking for it to drop to around $193.50. If it can't hold that, the next level that I see is around $175, okay? So keep these levels on your watch list and let's see what happens. All right, up next is gonna be Boeing, ticker symbol BA. Now here I have it pulled up on the four hour chart. Now Boeing reports earnings before the market opens on Wednesday. In their last few earnings, they have missed and it has sold off as a result. But we're still gonna take a look at both scenarios, okay? First off, the bullish. Right now, it's sitting around $158. And the first level that we needed to break through is around $158.75. If it can get above that, the next level that I'm looking for at the test is around $161. If it can get above that, I'm looking for it to run all the way up to around $168, okay? Now, the bear scenario. If they report bad earnings like they have in the past few times, and it cannot stay above $158, the first level that I'm looking for it to test is around $155. So I probably should mark that on here. Around $155. And if it can't hold that, the next level that I'm looking for to test is around $150.75. Now, if it can get through that and it can't hold, I'm looking for it to drop to around $144, okay? So keep these levels on your watch list and let's see what happens. All right, and the last one we're gonna be looking at is Apple, ticker symbol AAPL. Now here I have it pulled up on the daily chart just to show you this trend line that started back in September of 2020. You can see it came down and tested it a few times and recently it broke through that trend line and tested it around two times and it's gotten rejected each time. Now we're getting really close to this trend line again if I zoom in around $157. So I'm curious to see if we can break through this. So let's go over to the four hour chart and look at the levels for this upcoming week. All right, first off, we're gonna start with the bullish scenario. Now, right now, Apple's sitting around $154. It needs to get above and stay above that. And if it can, the first level that I'm looking for to test is this trend line around $157. And if it can get through that and the market is bullish, it sounds crazy, but the next level that I see for it is around $170. And that would be fantastic for the market because a lot of people believe when Apple runs up, so does the market. And in inverse of that, when Apple sells off, so does the market, okay? So let's go ahead and look at the bearish scenario. Like I mentioned, Apple's sitting around $154. If it falls beneath this and cannot break above it, the first level that I'm looking for is around $150.50. If it can't hold that, the next level is around $142.50. Now, if the market is selling off, I wouldn't be surprised if it came all the way down to around $132, okay? So keep these levels on your watch list and let's see what happens. And that is the end of the video. If you found value, please smash that like button and consider subscribing. Here's wishing you a prosperous week of trading and until next week, 
talk to you later.